Chapter 94 Master is a beautiful woman, too. Su Yong Wang suspiciously observed Li Kai since she also didn't believe in Li Kai's words. I know why the previous sect master and the supreme elders chose you to be the sect master. Li Kai slowly continued. Being a descendant of immortal Emperor Minutes Ren, of course you have the qualification to be the sect master of the cleansing and sense ancient sect. How do you know about this matter? Su Yong Wang's expression greatly changed. The Heaven's Edge Su clan was what they called themselves. But the world definitely did not know that the Heaven's Edge Su clan was made up of the descendants of immortal Emperor Minutes Ren. The patriarch told me in my dreams. Li Kai smilingly said. Su Yong Wang shook her head since she naturally didn't believe in this type of explanation. However, if the patriarch didn't tell him in his dreams, how would a 14-year-old boy know about this matter? The Heaven's Edge Su clan. In the end, Li Kai was unable to hold back his lamenting sigh as he remembered a distant memory. Even though he always knew that the Heaven's Edge Su clan was growing strong, after that year, he never went to visit it. The Heaven's Edge Su clan. Even when he was the Dark Row, he didn't want to speak too much about it. This matter almost made Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren turn against him. Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren was a little brat with nothing at first. Then, he finally shouldered the Heaven's Will, becoming an Immortal Emperor. This was not an easy task and outside of his own efforts, it was also due to Li Kai leading the road, along with the help of many brothers and friends. That year, there was a female general who had followed Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren for a long time. It could even be said that, before he became an Immortal Emperor, regarding the places that he had treaded on, her footsteps were also present. This woman could be said to come from a famous clan. At that time, Li Kai, as the Dark Crow, noticed her talents and he expended a lot of blood and effort in order to bring this woman to be by Minutes Ren's side. The effort of Li Kai was not wasted. This woman, by Minutes Ren's side, was like a gentle wife, always helping immortal Emperor Minutes Ren, with her talents. She recruited many geniuses to Minutes Ren's side. His heavenly declaration to the world, when he became an immortal emperor, was also written by her. From Li Kai's perspective, she was the most suitable candidate to become the empress. Plus, for many hundreds of years, she was always meticulously standing by Minutes Ren's side. Him becoming an immortal emperor was marked by her unerasable presence and effort. What was even more valuable was that she had always loved immortal Emperor Minutes Ren. This was why, as the mentor of immortal Emperor Minutes Ren, Li Kai had always hoped that Minutes Ren would marry her and declare her to be the empress. However, what almost killed Li Kai was that Minutes Ren fell in love with a different woman. Regarding this girl, Li Kai once held this criticism. Pure to the point of stupidity, this was not the most staggering part. For an immortal emperor, three wives and four concubines could not be considered anything. Li Kai could allow immortal Emperor Minutes Ren to marry many virtuous wives. The most murderous part was that this simple woman, to the point of stupidity, did not like Minutes Ren. She was in love with an enemy of Minutes Ren, someone who was considered Minutes Ren's strongest opponent when he was still a teen. Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren, time after time, was in love with this simple woman. Li Kai had nothing but praise for Minutes Ren throughout his life, but, in regards with only this matter, Minutes Ren made him want to raise his foot and kick him. When Minutes Ren was still a teen, Li Kai scolded him many times by calling him a blockhead. There were even times when Li Kai wanted to break open his head and erase the memories of a simple woman. No matter how much Li Kai, as the Dark Crow, scolded him, the young Minutes Ren was extremely loyal to the simple woman with his heart. Li Kai didn't have any other choice as there was no medicine for this Minutes Ren. After Minutes Ren shouldered the heavens will and became an immortal emperor, he didn't marry anyone. Li Kai naturally knew the reason. However, this was not something Li Kai wanted to see, especially when he, as the Dark Crow, was not stable as he could fall into a deep hibernation at any given point. At that moment, he didn't know how long his next hibernation would be so before he fell asleep. He decided to do something, leaving a descendant for Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren. Of course, the best candidate for this matter would be Suru. Li Kai expended a huge amount of effort in his schemes to trick Minutes Ren into the honeypot. Of course, as an Immortal Emperor, Minutes Ren didn't expect his mentor to throw him into a hole. The moment when Minutes Ren's gaudy spirit traveled to the most dangerous area of the Nine Worlds, Li Kai made his physical body sleep together with General Su on the same bed. The borrowing of Minutes Ren's seed was successful. When Minutes Ren came back from fighting at the most dangerous place, this matter was already completed. The grains had become rice. This matter caused Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren and Li Kai to almost completely break up. Both sides loudly roared, and the sound reverberated throughout the entire heaven. At that moment, Minutes Ren was enraged and there was also a storm brewing inside Li Kai. This monstrous atmosphere swept through the entire nine heavens and ten worlds. Under the fury of the Immortal Emperor, all existences in this world were anxiously trembling. Of course, everyone was afraid to ask what happened. All in all, even the heaven's curtain was pierced through after this matter. Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren's attitude caused Suru to be dispirited. In the end, Suru left Immortal Emperor Minutes Ren. Regarding this matter, Li Kai always felt guilty towards Suru. That year, he personally brought her to Minutes Ren's side when her family completely opposed it. She ultimately still chose to be in Minutes Ren's camp. One has to remember that that year, Minutes Ren was only a boy with absolutely nothing, but Suru came from a prestigious clan and had a peerless beauty. More importantly, her own talents could have soared in the sky with a wisdom as deep as the sea. At that time, Suru's clan naturally didn't want her to be an assistant for Minutes Ren, a boy who only had empty hands. Li Kai, as the Dark Crow, finally convinced Suru to stay behind. And this resulted in Suru being deserted by her family and friends. After this matter happened, Li Kai had always felt guilty. She paid so much, but in the end, she could only leave in sadness. He knew that his hibernation was not far off, so he used his most priceless treasures and a heaven-defying method to create a home for Suru. Eventually, 
This place was called the Heaven's Edge of Su Clan. Li Kai also knew that this name that was chosen by Su had a hidden meaning, no matter how far the Heaven's Edge was. Her love for Minutes Ren would never change. Unfortunately, the god of all creations liked to tease human beings. Nevertheless, Su Ru still raised immortal Emperor Minutes Ren's son into a man that was able to spread his own wings. In later generations, people believed that immortal Emperor Minutes Ren never married, and he didn't have any descendants. However, no one knew that Minutes Ren's direct bloodline had always been passed down. This secret was only known by the generations of the Su Clan and the immortal Li Kai. What's wrong? The moment Li Kai was lost in his memories, Su Yang Wang, who was sitting in front of him, called out to him, causing Li Kai to return to the present, regaining his wits. He stared at Su Yang Wang, then at Tu Buayu for a little bit. Then, he said, I am very clear on your origin. Young Brother Tu cannot be your disciple. Ah, uh, from my perspective, Young Brother Tu is not someone from the Su Clan. Even if he practices the God of War formula, the God of War formula was immortal Emperor Minutes Ren's main cultivation method, but Minutes Ren did not pass it down. Li Kai, as the Dark Row, allowed for Suru to pass down this art instead. The God of War formula came from the God of War temple. Even though he as the Dark Row taught it to Minutes Ren. In principle, Minutes Ren was not allowed to pass down this method. However, Li Kai broke the rule for Suru, and he allowed her to pass it down to her and immortal Emperor Minutes Ren's son. Because of this, the God of War formula was always an ultimate generational method of the Heaven's Edge Su Clan. Tu Buayu smiled, and he replied, Respectful older brother, I am a cleansing incense ancient sex disciple, and this has always been the case. However, my situation is a bit special. After I joined the sect, I rarely stayed inside. I was always traveling outside. As for the God of War formula, I started cultivating it later on. Li Kai glanced at Tu Buayu, and he said, I see, so you are always searching for the Su Clan. Tu Buayu embarrassingly coughed, and he felt that he had to tell the truth. At that point, I was under the order to find the descendants of the patriarch. Even though we were in decline, there were supreme elders who found the clues within the writings of our sect. They said that the Patriarch had descendants in this world. When I joined the sect, I was chosen to be the one to find the Patriarch's descendants. In order to find the Patriarch's Emperor Merit laws, that is why Elder Gu's group didn't really know about me since they only know that I am a disciple of the sect. Li Kai shook his head, and he said, The Heaven's Edge Su Clan. It does not have Emperor Merit laws. Tu Buayu slightly sighed, and he spoke. The descendants of the Su Clan, after knowing our situation, agreed with the sect master to help the cleansing incense ancient sect. I was given an exception, and I was given the God of War formula. At that point, my own cultivation method was limited and I had reached the bottleneck. Therefore, I destroyed my cultivation foundation and started from the beginning once again. Hearing this, Li Kai couldn't help but to take a second look at him. Having lived for so long and with such a deep cultivation, yet he destroyed everything. This was determination and courage. Li Kai finally looked at Su Yong Wang, and he said, You are the prime descendant of the Su Clan. How did you know? Li Kai revealing her origin with one phrase caused her to be surprised yet again. At the moment, there were many disciples of the Su Clan, but only the descendant could become the clan master of the Su Clan, the solar immortal physique. Li Kai continued. Only the prime descendant of the Su Clan can cultivate the immortal merit law, solar immortal physique. 